Did you know the crown jewel of Monsters University is not the scaring school, but actually the football team? MU has been scary, dominating the opposition for the last decade in the FCS. Finally, for the 2024 season, the team decided they're ready to move up to the big leagues. After losing the conference championship game to a hail scary from rival school Fear Tech, coach Mike Wazowski is looking to turn a new leaf in the American. Generous donations from notable alumni like Soli, Frank, Randall, allowed MU to build a stadium that was hard to rival in the American Conference. Led by six foot six seven quarterback James Soley. This scarer is an immovable force, 94 throw power, 92 strength. It's the accuracy department where he needs help. His number one target, Key Scary, a star deep threat receiver. On the defensive side of the ball, can't forget about six foot seven Jay Mean. As you can tell, this successful FCS program now promoted to the FBS should be able to compete day one. At 75 overall, they're only better than Army, who's a 74 overall. No monsters making the first team or second team all conference list yet. An interesting schedule awaits MU as they have six home games in a row before finishing the second half of the year on the road and then a key matchup at Miami. If all goes well, Mike Wazowski is looking to take this team to a power conference sooner than later. If you have not already seen episode one of my new team builder series on this channel, first of all, go check it out. But second of all, we had a hard time bringing in a class and I'm hoping it's not the same for MU. A lot, and I mean a lot of one stars are interested in us, but that is not going to cut it right now. This list is cracked. How long does it go? A three star, Tony Austin, get on the board. Before I'm forced to fill my board with one stars, I'm going to add all the three stars and two stars I can find. Mostly two to three stars on our board, but I took four flyers on three five stars and one four star player. I felt like it doesn't hurt to try. Cave is a bust, but he'd still play very well on this team. Scholarships handed out and now sorted by interest. No one is number one on our list, which is crazy. They were all one stars. So I'm gonna have to convince some of these two stars and up. Our dynasty is all set up and it's time to take over MU. So for all my Disney and MU fans, this one, is for you. We scare because we care and it's time to scare the competition. Let them know we're coming. You know what's scary seeing our top weapon, Key Scary, at risk of transferring. On Heisman difficulty for the rest of the way out, our hands will be full. Week one is here, Monsters versus Midshipmen. Before we jump in, I gotta show you the drip. It's the classic MU uniforms inspired by the movie. That same movie, we never saw MU hit the road, so this is what I did for their away uniforms. And then just cause I was having so much fun with it, I gave them an alternate. Are you ready for this? I called this one scary hours because it is time to scare the opposition out of here. A crimson MU logo in black and red that will strike fear into any opponent. Here we go, opening kickoff at MU. This is gonna be a fun one. Take a look at the scaring school right behind us. I think this turned out super well and I'm excited to play with our guys in week one. Huge run from the shipment. Honestly, a pretty good test for us here in our first ever game. Successful in the FCS, it should be a matter of time to show how successful we can be here on the FBS stage. Key third down, Navy forced to pass. They're gonna go outside and get user, I was gonna say user alert, but Jones pick six to the house kicking off Monsters University football in a major way. Let's go Kendrick. James Soley is a menacing presence at quarterback, six foot seven. Let's check out his first drive with the guys, dumping it out to the fullback. Second and five, just gonna, oh yeah, Texas route to Poe. Very well done. Soli really wants to hit it with his number one receiver, Scary, so he'll go to him right here, getting separation. James has the strength at quarterback to be like a Cam Newton when it comes time for him to take off. Third and seven, gonna slip it out to the running back. Could not get a block, fourth down. Shanks the kick, it's still 7-0. Second chance at offense, fake jet touch pass. Gonna go over the middle to our tight end. We hit him and he's still up. Scrambling out to his right, solely looking for his receiver. Under threw him quite a bit. Navy's taking this one back, looking to get some points of their own. They managed to walk away with three points, which we're not really worried about. Instead, we'll go back to Scary, who hauls it in. Offense has been coming alive, that's for sure. And as time expires, we do get it off and go over the middle for a touchdown, but right before half. Beautiful strike as time was expiring. Solely delivered it on the money. Third down, gonna go up and over Saxon. Way to hang in. Mike Wazowski's choosing to be aggressive here against the Navy midshipman up and over the middle. That thing floated for too long. Keeping Navy offense off the field. We have another chance here on third down. This time we do get the blocks and we're able to break free for the first. Second and five, running back has some separation. Out to Poe, first and goal. We're gonna let Soli take it himself using his big frame and body. He coughs it up 
at the goal line. 92 strength didn't come much in play there. Instead, we're forced to play defense on fourth down here. Navy converts. Another fourth down lined up, going to pass over the middle. He was open wide. Third and seven up by three. We need this one here, and we got hit as we were trying to throw. Fourth and 21 game is on the line. Navy looking for a big play. They're going deep for it all. Intercepted by Harvey and that is going to do it for the MU Monsters in week one of their first ever season. Pending a first down, that is also important to note. And there we go. Scary's got it. So now it's over. Victory formation. Mike Wazowski's got his team up to 1-0. and oh. Big game for the home fans as Soli leads the way. As soon as we put these five stars on our board, I kind of knew it was a mistake. We're already losing out to so many schools. There's not a chance we get back in it. So say goodbye to guys like Simon Petty. We're not going to stick around cave on the other hand has two scholarships not much incremental progress week over week maybe our luck will change when we send the house Derek looks pretty set on washington state but i might just entertain it for one week in one week only instead we need to focus on two to three stars that are interested in our school like ezekiel chris very limited on points so i'm going to contact friends and family to a variety of prospects before narrowing down on the guys we pursue a bunch of guys have already locked out mu then there are others like three star deontay that it looks like it's a lost cause so i went ahead and gave 50 points to daquan maybe we can get back in this race and then heck let's go with javante and camp Moyer has a couple options to see if we can turn the tide. But we've only had one round of recruiting and I already got to remove a lot of guys from my board. The six week homestand continues against Charlotte and that one did not go our way. Only 79 passing yards in one interception from Soli is not going to cut it. Two catches for 13 yards is exactly the reason why Scary wants to transfer. I'm in a weird position right now because all of my points are spent up, but where they're spent up, we're winning the battle. Even DeAndre K if we take in the lead. This is a bad sign on Derek. We have a proximity to home f score so he might lock us out Zeno and the blazers have a nice little squad but they're taking on the monsters this week and a much better game was played in fact they went to overtime where mu won it solely still not throwing for a ton of yards but three touchdown passes is quite all right especially when you consider he rushed for 100 yards on the ground and connected with scary for a big touchdown at the point where i can get rid of the house and start hard selling guys like daquan thomas he's looking for something prestigious he's found the right place fau spanked us 43 to 10 and with memphis in town no more Mr. Nice Guy, we're taking out the Scary Hours uniform. Perfect time to pull him out as it's a night game on campus and we need all the luck we can get going up against a very good Memphis team. So if you're superstitious like me, wearing a good uniform looking good helps. It's scary business right now, fourth and inches. Memphis going for it. A direct snap to the running back. That actually worked pretty good. Not gonna lie, they really fooled me on that play. That was insane. As they go right back to the ground, about to score. Successful ground attack to start this one off. I just ran right past the running back. Rain starting to come down. We just need to be careful with the ball and get on the same page as our teammates. It's a 54 yard field goal, but in the rain, I don't think I'm gonna chance it. So instead I'm gonna go quick dump off to Scary. He dropped it. Clawing our way back into this one. Slip screen to Poe. Let's go ahead and pick up the first down and keep it going. In this case, I will settle for three points as we nail that perfectly. Man, let me know what y'all think about these units. Are they a cool alternate concept for Monsters University? We're going to call a read option here because I believe Soli is capable of running it himself as I've seen cutting going the wrong way, spinning around in circles. That was an embarrassing look, Soli. We got to get that figured out. And that is a wide open scary. Going for it on fourth down paid off in that instance. And I can't say that works every time. Wouldn't have been upset if English caught the ricochet there. Instead, we'll go slip screen. Why doesn't the blocker pick that man up? Gonna chew all the clock, then we'll take the 52 yard field goal, leading right up to halftime. Here we go, pretty good set. Does it have the leg? just short. I think Memphis ran into the kicker. These dirty Tigers, man. Zeros across the clock, but we have another chance at the field goal because of the roughing call, and we're not going to miss this one. Low-key scared, but we're going to go ahead with a read option again, and this time Soli's taking it. He's got some room. I knew he had it in him somewhere as we go back with a double post. Worthington, the crosser underneath, that worked out just fine. MU threatening here at the goal line. Handoff to Poe. Wide open touchdown. Hitting the bow and arrow. We're up two touchdowns. 
defense. Really have needed to sharpen up on our field goal game this game as they're giving us so many opportunities and that one didn't come through. Three minutes to go, Memphis offense trying to score and we need the stop. We've worked hard and had a good game against arguably the best team in the American Conference just for them to take the lead. All tied up, 28 apiece. It is in our hands now to see if we can come down and win this game. See if Soli can cook something up for us. A wide open tight and I believe getting a step on the linebacker. That's nasty work. Really good stuff over here. And now we can go to the outside key with a key catch. I mean, come on, man. It's in Scary's name. He's got to have a scary day when we're wearing the scary fits. I got my eyes set on Key Scary, but I shouldn't keep looking at him because we have other receivers getting open. Getting the lead is better than nothing, so I'll just settle. Memphis going for it on fourth down. They convert, and their dreams are still alive. It is critical we don't get busted on this third and 16. I repeat, critical now fourth and 16 i'm gonna give everyone some cushion back up a bit so we can keep everything in front of us as he's going to my user area lurked and mu is gonna come out and shock the memphis world come on man it doesn't get better than this huge upset in my opinion our first year in the fbs it is scary right now for Memphis as they fall to their third loss in the young season. Going to need replenishments at wide receiver because scary, the more and more we go on, the more and more he wants to leave. All I know is scary better not be thinking about heading to our rival Fear Tech. Let's give it up and give your scariest roar for Daquan Thomas joining the team, our first ever recruit. Rawr. All right, that was a little cringe. I might not be doing that again. We have been pursuing DeAndre Cave for a while now, and we know enough to give him a good old hard sell to a prestigious university like MU. So Derek here, right? We have the lead on him, but his deal breaker is proximity to home, and it's an F. So I haven't used this very much, but what I'm going to do is sway. I'm going to look for playing time, playing style, but not proximity to home, which doesn't seem to exist. So never mind. I feel safer just sending the house on him. Chalking up our losses here on Javante Keogh, he's about to commit next week to Indiana. That'll at least give us points back to hard sell some of the other guys we've been waiting on. Back over at the prospect list, I'm finding more guys that are open and do not have a scholarship right now. Even though I don't have the hours at the moment to scout them out, it's good to keep an eye on them so when the time's right, I can spring into action. Second piece in place, JJ Whitaker. Beefing up with Trey on the O-line too. And if Trey doesn't pan out, here comes Niles. Massive competition all of a sudden for DeAndre Cave, so I need to schedule a visit. Let's bring him in on Bowling Green Week. A family visit looks just right. We need quarterback depth, so Josh Orlando is the target. Man, DeAndre Cave just flipped on MU, and he's looking at NC State. Ever since our highlight win against Memphis, the season's took in a bit of a turn in the wrong direction. Didn't expect whopping good numbers in year one, but now we're four and five, taking on a ranked Miami team. Out in the away threads, getting a look at those for the first time. Here comes Miami down the field, handing it off to the running back, stopping him in a big way. Cam Ward, Damian Martinez, a couple big transfers playing on this team. Having no problem going right down this field and around for a touchdown. One thing we'll continue to do is battle. As you can tell, Soli's no longer in the game. Must've been hurt. Albeit for only one play, it's nice to see Soli back in the game, throwing interceptions like he never left. Truthfully, I'm not sure how on the road we have a chance against Miami right now. This is crazy that we're still in this game. They were never able to close the door fully on us, so we've been able to work and get right on back into it. Third and five, this place is rocking and we're just gonna take a deep shot. Ruben Bain is a disruptor on that defensive line. I can't tell you enough how difficult it is to face him. And because of their swarming defense at the end, we did not get a chance to win it. Ezekiel Chris has committed to MU and he'll be headed to Monstropolis next season. You know who won't be coming to Monstropolis? DeAndre Cade. Man was visiting us this week, but he got itchy and pulled the trigger. Worst part is too, we're probably gonna lose Derek because it's week 13 and Fresno State with that visit should get the upper hand. There's nothing I could do to hard sell him with an F at proximity to home. Do get some hours back so I can go target some other dudes. Do I really go toe to toe with Ohio State? Nah, it's not worth it. Get him out. A little too late on Nick Tlaib as well. So I'm just going to chalk it up. This is where our handy dandy list of prospects that weren't getting any motion come into play. Yep. What did I say? Neck and neck with Derek. He chose the other way. End of season one. Mike Wazowski needs some help. And to be frank, I'm just going to fire both coaches. Let's wipe the slate clean and find two new ones because MU definitely wants to start competing again like the prestigious FCS days. As you can tell, dropping the last six. A couple 
of them were close, a couple of them not so much. Scary good year from Shader Sanders. That's good enough for the Heisman. Trying to steal Mike Wazowski away. There's a head coaching job for Marshall. And then for whatever reason, if he was feeling like it, offensive coordinator for Kennesaw State. Looks like I can attempt to steal Kennesaw State or Ohio's head coach, but there is no one with the recruiter active perk. Micah has spent some points on recruiters, so that's good. And so has Alec Larson from TCU. I'll hold off on offense, but for defense, I think Mitchell Harms looks pretty good here as a decent amount put into recruiter but it's really high up on the motivator. Let's go ahead and offer this coach a job. And he, oh, I thought he accepted it, but it's pending now. For offensive coordinator, I'm gonna wait and see if anyone else joins. And there he is, Mitchell scares cause he cares, level 20 DC in the house. Let's go ahead and look into his abilities all locked up. I guess we can't see his abilities yet until next season. Another coach in Orlando Edwards has joined the fray. Tell me he's got something we like. Recruiter and scheme guru. I'm not digging it. Ideally, I get someone with a recruiting focus. TCU's guy looks okay, but I'm gonna wait another week. Might be running out of time. No new faces at the moment. I'll give it one last week. Looks like I was too late and the computer just went and got Ohio's head coach. Most glaring downside is we didn't get a recruiting bonus. Last season was the baseline for sophomore quarterback solely 2,300 yards, 16 touchdowns. Those numbers got to go up. Our best receiver's practically a lock to leave us and hardly anything to write home about on defense either year two needs to be better as we have no chance of convincing scary to stay how could you possibly leave the scariest school in the nation mike wazowski is known for making the most out of bad situations so we got a lot of transfers we can target and we're gonna get to work Soli now has some competition in orlando to worry about the rapid race starting to pay off as the recruits start coming in and battles continue to be fought a couple more to close out the transfer portal season kudos to mike wazowski for stringing it together at the end we had the best class in the American Conference. 17 three stars, four two stars. Shuffling around the offensive line, I'm gonna take our second center, Trey Lenovi, who we just brought in, throw him to left guard. The team does look a bit better in year two at 79 overall, but we're just getting started. Year two, we're met with just as yucky of a fate. Look at all the one and two stars we have to target. Quite frankly, I'm not really gonna try to target any of these guys. Already added the few three stars that are interested. Again, gonna test our luck with a couple four stars and hope it works out. Always entertaining to throw our name in the hat for a couple five stars too. Sure, why the heck not? Monsters University can dream of landing the number one quarterback in all the nation, Shakir Page. Year two strategy, we already know we'll take any four and five stars, so we're gonna focus mainly on the three stars. Why waste scouting points on guys that will boost our team no matter who they are? I wanna find the gems not the bus. Larry, the four-star quarterback is a gem, so I need to go for him ASAP. 94 throw power, 85 speed, 90 excel. Coming off four wins, year two is even tougher. Oregon, Auburn, Purdue, before rounding it out with American play. Once again, no MU players on the preseason list. A ton of North Texas and Tulane guys, they're ranked. I mean, look at North Texas, top 10. Just as easy as we brought them in, most of them gotta go off the list. The five stars were a pipe dream. Hunter Vince Tillman, that's more our speed. Balls to the wall, Mike Wazowski got his guy, Theo Hyde, gem safety. The most important battle left right now is Larry Newzel, who is a four-star gem quarterback. Arkansas's come on very strong at the end. However, I was able to fit a visit in for this game. That's right, we're the better team. 80 overall going up against Charlotte, who's 74 overall. With four-star prospect Larry on the sidelines, our team needs to go off today. Give him a show. Soli, I know you hear me, but today I need you to live like Larry. Let's go ahead and dump it out. Oh, there we go. First down. Can't believe we're 0-4 and, and they are 3-0. This needs to change with a deep bomb. We find Ivy. What a snag. We lost our star receiver, Scary. So guys like Ivy, the freshman, are needing to step up in this one. Solely playing some inspired football. I like what I'm seeing out of the man. Running the read option again. College Football 25 is still so new that I keep forgetting. You have to actually click the button if you want to keep it unlike NCAA 14. Looking to make things interesting, going for it on fourth down. We see a receiver skitting away, and that botch is the first drive. It looked promising, it really did, and then we sold it at the end. Third and six, first quarter winding down. I tried to scam scramble right, but it was just all covered up. This time I won't be a bonehead, and I'll take my three points, and thankfully, with a meter messed up, we still got it. So far, so good from the defense. Looking to keep it that way, and... Not happening on that one, huh? Two minute drill, let's get some points out of it. Just take our running back here, see if he can get free. Bell's got the step, looking to cut left. Second and four, our tight end should get a step right there. Yes, sir, in and out. Only thing we need to be going in and out of is the end zone. Maybe the big tight end will come down. All right, Sully, what you got for me on the blitz? 
takes a big sack. Can't afford that. Defense held before half, and now we have a chance to pick up a first down, which we do. What's it going to take to get into the end zone? Mike thinks it's an all go. So do we, we think that's the case? Yeah, that's just a bad call. Oh, someone stop this man. Are we really about to let Charlotte pick six us? Can you imagine if we just converted a chance or two? We would be up huge in this game. And there we go, taking the lead. MU rules. Typical fourth quarter football. We don't hold the lead for much longer. Thankfully, Trumbly is on a mission this half. Soli doesn't have a guy that he can guaranteed throw to every time. Maybe Cypress will develop into that guy. Right before the two-minute warning, we're going to slip it out to Poe, who's got a convoy in front of him. Super efficient drive on this one. Read option. Soli keeps it, lowers the head, keeps fighting forward. That is what 92 strength looks like. At the one, up the middle, the big defensive tackle knew it was coming. Not going to get creative, just going to do it again, hoping the blocks hold this time. Yes, sir. I guess I forgot to remind the defense that we're playing for an awful lot in this game. I need everyone's A game, not just some people. I want to bring in the star quarterback, so everyone needs to put it together. Looking good right now. We're just going to take a first down and get past midfield. Trying out the turbo. We're going to call for a read option and see if this could work out up the middle poe he's got space he's bouncing around we got timeouts let's use one first in 10 quick out to ivy see if he can put on a move low-key a bad idea there because clock is really low and we can't afford to take much more time off this one so we'll lob one up we have him do we catch him in stride oh yes that's what i'm talking about now at the one up the middle poe just hits a brick wall super risky here with no timeouts but i'm still gonna call an inside zone for our running back touchdown this one looks to be headed to overtime now that we've tied it up but i'll go ahead and take a last second hail mary chance for the win english has the step can he get past the final dbs touchdown go crazy mu monsters university for the win over charlotte as time expires that is is what I'm freaking talking about. Seriously insane game. 31 points in the fourth quarter. That has got to be one of the most impressive comebacks I've had. Soli was inspired. 467 yards, three touchdowns. Will this be the moment to go down in MU history as the play that changed the projection and trajectory of this program forever? If it lands Larry, then I definitely think so. Fingers crossed. We got Tavares, Tavares way. And we did get Larry. He was jumping up and down out of his seat and just had to come play for us. Four-star quarterback gem, gonna play up to a five-star. Had Old Miss pursue him at the very end. Thankfully, he ignored Old Miss DMs because he was so entrenched to that win. The cherry on top, Wazowski, you mastermind. Not only did you secure a gem QB, you got a four-star running back, a compliment. And a four-star receiver, Cobb. Who let the man cook like this? Year two in the books, I think it's time we test our luck again for a new offensive coordinator. The season did not go the way we pictured it. Losing by a touchdown to Oregon, shut out by Auburn, by three against UConn, 10 versus Purdue. Our only win for a while was that thrill against Charlotte. Then we dropped five straight before squeaking out the last two of the season. Soli had another below average year as Jay Meme was the only bright spot on this defense in his senior season, six and a half sacks. The good news is we won't have to be at the bottom of the American for much longer. As on early national signing day, MU has the 66th best class in the nation, five four stars, four three stars. Fifth best in the conference, but there's still plenty of time to improve via the transfer portal or last second signees. Mike Wazowski is a big fan of Edmund Lowe, offensive coordinator from Oklahoma State. Has a few competing offers, but we'll throw our name in the hat. And we got him. This hurts losing three young guys in the secondary. And again, we have no chance of persuading him. I wonder if that's an ability. Transfer portal this year around looks promising. We have guys coming from Ohio State, Wisconsin, Michigan State. Definitely want to bring these guys to the team. Offensive line seems to be the focus. Into year two, a lot of red on our board. We have a ton of needs, especially on defense here. What a difference an offseason makes. Took it from like the 60th rank to 33rd best class in the nation in year two. That's good enough for number one in the American. Top ranked transfers join the team and then a new era of Monsters football led by quarterback Larry Newsel. End of year two, the team takes another baby step forward, 82 overall across the board. Yeah, guys, we got a good one. What do you think? Larry's got elite development trait and he is so well developed coming out of high school. We don't bring in a guy like this to ride bench, so I appreciate everything Soli's done, but this is where we hand off the baton. Four-star Cobb, impact player. Freshman right tackle Kadarius Key is a star. Mike Wazowski brought 
brought in some dudes and I'm excited to see MU take a year three leap. Really good sign when our first batch of 35 has a lot of people interested in MU. I'm taking a couple swings at the big boys, seeing if it sticks. If not, I got a lot of three stars I can go target as soon as the next week. Year three starts on the road against the Rice Owls and I'm excited to see the true freshman make his first start. Definitely game one jitters, 90 passing yards, one touchdown, one in. We dropped it 29-14. I'm starting to see the fruits pay off by hiring new coordinators because look at the recruiting bonus multiplier. Just offering him a scholarship gives four influence and I'm not putting any points yet we're pulling away in this race. Trust me, I'd love to put points into a gem prospect but I got big fish to fry with the Ron Pascal. Early in the season and I'm already getting access to hard pitch some of these recruits so that is a great sign. Need some of these guys far along their decision path to make a commitment already so I can free up points for guys I'm not even focusing on. Week three at Ohio State, this will be a good litmus test. Are we up to par? How bad do we get beat or do we shock these fans and Ohio State? I believe the Buckeyes are ranked number one in the nation right now in year three. And out come the monsters from MU. A very tough place to play. I'm excited to see the true freshman in action. It's time to live like Larry. We may be in the number one toughest place to play, but that's not going to stop us from having a good time. His trusty steed to the right, it's Siegel, the guy we brought in the same class as him. So let's just dump it out to him. Was hoping for a little more security there, but that's okay. Third down. Let's see if we can just find a slant, get open. There we go. The true freshman's definitely going to have some learning moments, but he's got all the intangibles to be something special. Second and long. Let's slip screen it to Poe, the star running back. Let the blocks develop. Big third down. I can't see the play art at all. So it's up to the trust of the freshman. First drive didn't pan out the way we thought it could have, but the second drive is much different as Poe takes this one up the middle. Dual running back set here. Play action. Looking for Siegel. There he is. Larry's got a nice touch to him. He can just layer in the football where it needs to go. And as soon as I compliment him. On defense, starting to see some of our recruits step in. Like Cornelius here, the middle linebacker, tried to leap and make the stop. But they couldn't. And suddenly we're down by a touchdown. So let's go ahead and slip it off to Siegel. See if he can get shifty with it. If this was the MU universe, Siegel would most definitely be a Siegel creature or something, right? Second and 10. Curl flat here. Going out to Ivy. There he is. Play action. Just going to take a shot. Gets one off. Why song's there to catch it? Wow, that worked out. Got disrupted, but it didn't matter. We got to secure it. In there, Siegel getting shifty. In and out. First and goal right before half here. Great drive, and we're going to keep it ourselves. Bad decision. It's smart of Laird to let the clock dwindle down. We don't want any funny business from Ohio State if they get the ball back, which they will as soon as we kick this field goal and give it back over. 10-14. Doinked it in. Talk about stepping up in a big environment today until that costly interception. He was doing the right thing up to that point. Running the fake jet tut pass. There, there's our transfer. Oh, there was an injury timeout right on that last play. It was Larry. I really hope Larry's okay. We need him healthy for the final push. Sigh of relief. He is okay. Larry's back out here looking to go to work. Massive fourth down, down by 11. Just going to look for anything. And that is a strip sack fumble. Larry picks it back up and he's starting to run with it. Can something special happen here? I wish. Score is a little deceiving because we were keeping it closer than it indicates. And that final interception is going to seal it. Buckeyes win, but not in convincing fashion. Kurt Britt, the first commit in year three. Ty Cornelius, star defensive end. That's nice. Some great commits coming, don't get me wrong, but it feels a little sour knowing that we just lost another five star. Mike Wazowski and MU have reached the end of year three. Five and seven, pretty good for a true freshman quarterback. It's not the results we were hoping for. A bowl game would have been ideal, but it's enough to get a contract extension. Glad to know that the school is backing our guy, Mike. Remember, Mike Wazowski started in the mailroom and is working his way up. As for the team, Larry had a season that's pretty reminiscent of what James Soley would do. It feels like there are no superstars poking their head yet. Gunnar Stockton came out this year and balled out. 50 touchdown passes, 4,300 yards, all in due time for our guy Larry. Another decent class at the moment for MU, but Mike is well known for being good at getting a flurry of commits in the offseason. And as soon as I mentioned that, we just got two more. College football playoff came and went in the K-State in me. My alma mater pulled off the national championship game. Beating Michigan 37-34 it's beautiful. I don't know who we need to whip up on the coaching staff, but as soon as we get good secondary players, they transfer out. It's ridiculous too, and we have no persuasion ability. Interesting, this year around only three transfer portal targets. Everyone else has locked us out. Finished off the year with the 32nd best class in the nation. Got some four stars and four star gems, which is great. After training results, 85 overall, 86 offense, 85 defense. Taking a look at year four, starting with a couple tough ones, Iowa, Western Kentucky before an FCS game. Then on the road to Kentucky before getting to work on the 
American Conference. I just went on a crazy streak of five busts in a row. My group of 35 is not looking too promising and I can't seem to find any prospects that can try to shape me up. There we go, Pete Huffman, save the day. Out of the last batch of prospects, we have three impact dudes leading the way. Deshaun Karstens, Terrell Folk, and Corin Hewitt. As you can see on this list, there are a ton of mid 70 overall freshmen and they're just ready to make a splash for Monsters University. Even 69 overall backup quarterback is a star. I'm sorry, I had the wrong dude. That was a safety. This is the freshman quarterback we just grabbed and he's elite dev as well. So much for Josh Orlando, the first quarterback we picked up. He's just a star, just a star. So Monsters University has managed to snag two elite quarterbacks and a star. That's a good one, two, three. And did I mention Massey has 92 speed and 91 throw power? On the road facing Iowa in just a few years, it's a good sign to see that we're already at Iowa Big Ten level. Our first ever player of the week came in that game. Larry had four touchdown passes, yet we still lost to Iowa. Absolutely heartbreaking. 39-37 in double overtime. Iowa quarterback JJ Cole outlasted us five touchdown passes. Absolutely heartbreaking. It had to go down that way. Mike Wazowski's determined to get his first five-star commit, and it looks like Alec Mixon right now has no competition but us. What's better than one five-star? We'd love to snag the second one here in Jaden Kendricks. Sometimes the battle for three stars goes so fast, and I gotta be careful because Pete Huffin is a gem, and we don't want to lose him to Iowa or Iowa State. What did I say? Mike dialed it up and landed our guy. Despite the double overtime loss to Iowa, it's a great start this year for the Monsters, winning one here against Western Kentucky, and then doing what they had to do against FCS East. Would love to see Larry step up his passing a bit more, but maybe that's not the offense we're running. In fact, we are running the spread option after all, so maybe it's time I just go to the spread. Or shoot, I don't know, I'm open to trying something new. Let's just go the multiple offense. Perfect time to test it out here on the road against Kentucky. This is a formidable foe. They're an 88 overall. MU is close behind them. Now we're gonna have to keep turning up a notch to get to a bowl game this season. Winning this game, Game will be very important as it's the next step getting closer to six wins in bowl eligibility. An annual tradition at Monsters University is the scare games. They would love to tack on a bowl game to that list. Kentucky defense was all over us on the last play, but over the middle, I think we might have a chance. Why song in and out. The rain could be making a difference on accuracy through the air today. And it's also making a difference at the defensive line. Big third down here for Larry and the team. Just going to throw it over the middle. He hits Poe under pressure. Already noticing a couple of our guys stepping up to the plate to play today. One of them is Cobb as he catches and runs, scores, touchdown. I see Larry's physical and mental abilities stepping up in a big game as he jet touches that to a touchdown. Up by four, looking to keep it that way, making the stop, fourth down. I mentioned Cobb on one of our last touchdowns, but how about Beaver here hauling this one in, the four-star tight end? Young, scrappy, and hungry they have the intangibles to be a difference on this team that would have been a major difference to this drive so let's not get too cute over the middle of poe he's got it good old shootout on our hands we'll start with a slip screen off the offensive lineman's helmet we have been building the offensive line up front and a lot of them are our guys from the portal or from the recruiting board and it makes me proud to say in a rebuild that our players are finally starting to take over this entire roster kentucky starting to pull away so we're just going to hand it off to poe who kicks it up to gear for a touchdown it's been a good effort today but honestly, the defense has had its troubles. Surprised to see Manu Best right here starting. He was just a young dude on the portal the other year. Not a fan of how Swiss cheese it has been for their offense moving on us. That's why we'll just take off with Larry, who could only get one yard. Audibling, telling everyone to just go on a streak. We need as much help as we can get. So maybe this play will be the connection. It is Cypress. At the same time, while throwing that, some of our offense alignment had abilities light up like they were just clamping down the opposition. I'm telling you, we've invested in this line and I can feel it. It makes a difference. Second and goal. Let's just go cash in for a touchdown. How about that, Poe? Get in there. I feel like Larry and the team had a really good performance until we just threw a pick into absolute cut covered territory. Not sure about that call. Despite the loss, 35 points on the road against Kentucky, this team should be bowling at the end of the season. The race for Alec Mixon is moving fast. I'm going to try something different. I got rid of sell the house, going to hard pitch him, going to get rid of contact friends and family. And now I just need five more points. I think I should get him on a visit ASAP. Lining him up, knocking him down. We got the next scare in town. Mike Zawowski is killing it in the game, bringing in so many commits. Oh! Is that an angel? It's Jaden Kendricks. Stop playing with Mike. He's a mean, green, fighting machine. Bringing in Jaden Kendricks. Okay, man. Nabbing everyone from Kansas, it seems like. Alec Mixon, make it another five-star. Wowski, another one. Zay Turk. Ain't no way Jaden Kendricks are five-star that I just went huh, to our first ever five-star. 
flip to Kansas State. Alec Mixon, Zay Turk, I'm looking at you guys. You better stay clean. On the bright side, we were able to get another four-star tight end. This sophomore receiver for Liberty popped off 24 touchdowns on 73 catches. That's like one out of every three. That's crazy, but even better news is that our program is turning in the right direction in year four, seven and five. That's good enough for the first responder bowl against James Madison. And you best believe I'm jumping in to play this one against 18th ranked James Madison. For MU's first ever bowl game, I just had to bring out the scary hour jerseys here we come first look with the first responder patch that's awesome bring out the monsters let's go four years in the making this is what we've been working towards at this rate we're going to be one to two more years out until we make a spot in the college football playoffs put your money on it in my opinion james madison is outmatched in this one i don't think they have what it takes to stick around with the monsters fourth and one larry's confident quick slant hits him holds on first and goal choosing to run a read option letting poe just carry it up the middle got stuck on the offensive line probably should have been a house call if i had to guess but we'll just take this instead touchdown cypress third and 11 gonna blitz up the middle it's a slip screen they got a good block in front of them just short it's definitely going to be a run on fourth and inches i mean why wouldn't it be jacobs all over it not letting it happen this team is coming together nicely Oh, way to secure it. First and 10, gonna go quick out to Beaver here. Let Beaver get to work. Second and eight over the middle. It is a wide open Poe, touchdown. Monster defense has let up just a little bit when we should have been putting the pedal to the metal. Interception, McPhee, that is what I'm talking about. James Madison defense stepping up when they need to. Now it's our turn to step up. Second and nine is a quick out to number 13, who just breaks free for the first. First and 10, handoff up the middle. 29 has so much space. Defense needs some work, and there we go. Good stop. I hear Mobamba blaring here at the first respondable. They know how to do it and the ref literally got in my way great now it's first and goal and he's gonna be able to get in here just in a matter of seconds all right larry it's time to hit it big man i can't wait any longer so lob this deep ball and why do those miss more often than not i've seen it a few times now where our guy has a step but we miss the completion didn't miss the db's hands on that completion man that is cooked we're gonna lose our first ever bowl game out here we'll just try to take the field goal and then get the onside kick that's our only chance I don't know if he had enough leg. It's right down the middle. No good. That's a tough way to go down. Seven and six on the year. Still improvement. And we got our sights set for bigger things as soon as next season. Despite the unfortunate finish, Larry blossomed in his sophomore season. True freshman Theo Hyde with three interceptions. Okay. Bentley with seven and a half and bowling with five and a half sacks. At least now we have a chance to persuade as Sheets and Dotson want to head out of here. I'm not a fan of that. One of y'all need to stay and it's going to be Dotson. The first MU monster to play in the NFL is Cameron Poe. So congrats to you. A seventh round fly go prove him wrong transfer portal opened up and i like the guys we see here ninth best transfer target Jaden ball i see it i want it i like it i got it this is the first time i've caught this but garrett combs doesn't have a player model image out of all the dynasties i've started playing i still haven't seen this yet the ascent is now for monsters university with 30 signees two five stars nine four stars let's go turn it all the way up would have been even higher of a class if one of our five stars didn't flip this team is getting crazy good now 87 overall across the board i like the depth at almost every position this was actually the hardest thing ever to find who i should cut off the roster usually don't have trouble with this but to get it down to 85 we had to cut about 20 people the team is already getting good so i had to let people go that were in the 70s beginning of year five in the league is finally starting to take notice a bunch of four stars interested in us who remembers at the beginning of the rebuild when this list was only one stars feels good to put that behind us starting off the year with an exciting one at penn state as for the rest of the schedule we should should be able to get the victory in I believe all of these matchups why not season opener at the Nittany Lions and we're up to an 89 overall that is plus three on Penn State here we go this is another tough place to play Penn State always puts up a fight on paper this should be our year as Judge takes the opening kick return and let's go Monsters football Mike Wazowski's done a masterful job and one of his guys is Cobb who set the tone early why out Mobamba playing my screen shaking this is gonna be a exciting one so sit back and watch 
this game unfold. Taking a sack on the first play of the game, that's extremely difficult. Let's go ahead and go over the middle to Clifford. Third and short, just gonna play action. It looks like Beaver is gonna spring free. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. First down, silence the crowd. I need Larry to come out and play like a Heisman if we're gonna have a chance in this one. Big third down, need the conversion. Over the middle, that is our other tight end, Mixon. Fourth and inches, I'm not gonna settle for a field goal. Let's go right up the gut. Hand off, there it is. Right down to the one we go. Dumping it out to Beaver. It's Beaver time. I thought he was in there. That's it, I'm force feeding it to Beaver again. Get in there, I'm telling you. Beaver, one more time. Force feed, in there touchdown. Isn't this like Beaver Stadium or something too? So that is just ironic at the least. Second and five, let's scramble with Larry. He's got a wide open lane. This should be easy pickings. Touchdown. The crowd here at Penn State's getting awfully quiet. I wonder why that is. Is it because we're making big plays? When you rebuild a team in college football 25, you can tell it just feels so much better. Playing with an 89 overall team like I am right now versus playing with a 70 overall team. On the road, this would be a massive morale boost if we can pick this thing up. Everyone's getting hot right now and we're all having fun while playing on the run. What a lob to Cobb. Slob on this Cobb and get in there. Making an early case for Heisman, in my humble opinion. Third and goal, here comes the pressure. Stepping up in the pocket, breaking a tackle, fighting down to the one. We're going for it, and it's a jet touch pass to Ivy, cutting it up touchdown yeah guys this game is fun i'm having a blast out here 15 here in the third just looking to maintain the lead we have now second and goal gonna hit the guy right here that's beaver time another touchdown make it two two on the day doing the penn state crowd dirty third and 16 it could be a good opportunity for insurance points if we can hit our man right there it's clifford all the way what is this larry's sixth touchdown pass of the day man is cooking the lions this is not just an up upset brewing it is a domination brewing monsters university has come to play proving why the crown jewels football they have great academics and a great scaring program but at the end of the day this is what they've been looking forward to doing taking the athletics to the next spot the fcs was once a dominant time for mu football we're about to enter an era where fbs football is a dominant time for mu seven touchdowns on the day at penn state this is crazy. Shocking the world. Everyone's surprised except Mike Wazowski, who's believed in his guys ever since the beginning. Best part is this is year five. So every single player on the field are folks we brought into this program and built. Racking up player of the week accolades in the American. Honestly, this should be national player of the week. Instead, they gave it to the Miami Red Hawk receiver, 241 yards, four touchdown catches, and they lost. Yeah, this was much more deserving, especially since Larry tacked on 111 rushing yards and a rushing touchdown too. That is a snub. Everything falling in place. Oscar Dembo, gem four-star receiver is here. Robert Gunter from New York, the latest feather in Mike Wazowski's cap. Home game defending Monsters University against Rice. The Owls are six and one, 19th in the nation. We have some recruits visiting during this game. Big ones at that too. So I wanna make sure we can come in and have a performance that'll leave no questions on the table for the recruits. Bro, I'm so amped by the offensive line right now. They just protect so well. Something I couldn't have said three years ago. If and when Larry wins a Heisman, he has to thank his offensive line for some credit. And of course, there's a holding call right when I'm complimenting him. You know how it goes. It's the old announcer jinx. It applies to video games too, if you didn't know. So usually you should just keep your head down, go to Beaver, put in the work. Third and eight gonna go over the middle. I think we have a man who was disrupted by a linebacker. I feel so good about my squad that I'm running it on fourth and eight. Look at that. He with the transfer from a long time ago. Textbook football out here. Let's continue to make it textbook as Beaver dropped it. All three linebackers are gonna be blitzing on this play. So we're just gonna lob one up. That's very out of reach. I don't know what we were thinking on that one. Doesn't matter because we have an opportunity here in the red zone to get some points. Larry, the handoff here to Rob Nestor. What a spin what a move all the way down and in touchdown monsters just flexing on people out here first and goal there's hewitt wide open touchdown monsters you get the sense you know this one is headed in the direction of a blowout even though rice is 19th ranked blitz coming we're gonna go across the middle we got cobb 
our trusty receiver. Cobb is the man. So let's lob it up to him. And he got caught up on a body there, yet still brings it down. He was the recruit that believed in us and convinced everyone else to come to MU as he was the first. Now with 13 seconds left, we can go ahead and look for some points. Used up our last timeout. We see the blitz. We see the slant. Easy pickings. First and goal after defensive pass interference. That's okay by our nature. We'll go up the middle. Easy touchdown. That will do it, man. Easy peasy for Larry. Have a game against Rice. This team is legitimate, and I think if we can get into the bracket for the college football playoffs, everyone should watch out and not sleep on us. Because of our performance, a four-star commits to us, another four-star commits to us, and we're squarely in the thick of it for more guys, including a five-star. We love getting scary prospects out of Kansas. Some of the best monsters hide in those cornfields. Another contract extension, this time for five more years. So give it up for your favorite one-eyed green friend. I'm sleep out here. DeAndre Cave was about to commit to us two or so years back, and he comes out and puts up a 17-touchdown Heisman season. That's it. I'm going to have to take out my frustrations on Virginia Tech in the Military Bowl. Here at the Military Bowl versus the Hokies, this should be a fun one. We have the upper hand. MU should roll but never count out this old bird. And yep, monsters have been able to take care of business in this one until the backup quarterback just threw an interception. What you just saw there was Wazowski giving his backup, Massey, their elite development. Hasn't seen the field, just wanted to give him a couple snaps before the season was over because Larry did his thing as always. The first FBS bowl victory in Monster University history is the military bowl against Virginia Tech. So salute to all the troops. 2028 national champs, Nebraska Cornhuskers, they got to the final game knocked off Iowa State. I noticed Wyoming and Boise State also made it, so it looks like the Mountain West was well represented. 9-4 season, best one yet, just behind UAB, Tulane, and Memphis. Memphis went 8-6, and six, but won every game in conference play. I only got one thing to say to the league next year, it's going to get scary. Always good to open up the first team panel and see multiple first team American players like Dom Nestor or Desmond Ivey. On the second team, we got Jaden Ball, Jonah Coleman, and our kicker, Chris Florence. Watch out for these fresh Ezekiel, Darius, Deshaun, Corin, Zay, Devin, and Terrell. Some of them are already up to the mid 80s and are going to be dangerous for years to come. Devin didn't just crack the first team American conference. He did first team all American as a freshman. Whereas Kadarius Key, a key signing Mike Wazowski had, is a second team all American. The transfer situation has been much better because our team's been performing very well. Jeff Gammon, a former four star, has a medium chance to stay. Let's persuade him it didn't work. You're now looking at elite receivers. Receiver Ezekiel at 91 overall. The training results are in, and this team looks very good. 6'6, six, six, five star receiver. The number one receiver in the same class as Cave is about to get some on field reps. Practically at the same overall as last season. That's quite okay because the team we have on paper is cracked once again and as they play better they should continue to boost up since i very well think this could be the national championship run we're gonna load up on a bunch of five stars to try to go out with a major bang not only win the natty but set up this mu team for the future decades to come started off the season with 325 passing yards four touchdowns the fcs opponent was no match alec mixon's finally here two touchdowns 89 yards in his first game as well as a sack party led by karsten's mu fans barely remember what it was like to be an FCS school. They're now getting acquainted to FBS dominance. We'll be able to call it dominance for sure when it's the natty that we're hoisting up. For now, this team's getting star studded with a couple on the offensive line, the backfield, receivers. It's all over the place. Looking over to my left, I see our star sophomore receiver with 99 spectacular catch. That is insane. Let's hit it to him as he breaks a tackle and goes out of bounds. So what I'm hearing is if I need a big play, that's who I go to. That play action was drawn out for a long long time and I don't know we should have just done something a lot sooner with it uh excuse me I didn't realize it fumbled went exactly to plan let's run it again because it worked so well last time am I right on the run this time going deep for the end zone all right definitely done calling that play for now let's go with the slant instead there is the star receiver Larry definitely has trust in him and can feel like he's reliable whenever he needs to go there speaking of reliability that's what this offensive line has become it's a definition of reliability as for set breaks one tackle that's probably the biggest glow up this team has had outside of receivers and a quarterback and all that need to pick up seven so I'm gonna look for Siegel 
the D line disrupted it. Well, we have an all conference kicker, so let's use him three points. Instead of relying on the kicker, let's just use our quarterback to get down this field and score a touchdown. Sounds much better to me. Siegel up the middle, swerving in and out. He's there. Old reliable up the middle again. Siegel, come on. Enough playing around, Siegel. I'll just dump it to you instead. Receiving touchdown. No question at all about this game. Trying to get a look at the future. It's Massey at quarterback, the backup with 92 speed. My game crashed, so we had to run it back. Thankfully, we still pull it out 42 17. So it's showing MU Monsters University is the real deal. Larry went on the road to Boston and dropped four touchdowns on their head. They were ranked, and we beat them in a nail biter 39 35. Do I spy a ranked UMass team? Rebuild's been helping them. First time I'm actually trying to use Sway is on the quarterback Emmanuel here. Let's go ahead with that one. I did that to avoid the F proximity to home. Monsters University has seriously arrived. Check out Deshaun Karsten's four sacks. And shucks, I'm blushing. Another monster performance from a monster. Good enough for the nation's best player against Memphis this last week. That finally has us ranked 20th in the nation, going up against number 14 UMass. Looks like they're being led by a Heisman candidate quarterback. I can't lie, I am intrigued to see what all the fuss is about with UMass. It's crazy that one of the worst teams an independent school is up to 16th ranked in the nation. Yeah, to keep it a buck for a team that's ranked and a lot of hype on their quarterback, I'm not impressed. I'll take our guys over theirs any day of the week as our receiver almost caught it twice. That's Nawa Chukwu, and whenever we get a chance, we're throwing it to him. Seriously filthy coming out of the back over there. And yeah, that's what I get for forcing it to him so many times. I just hungry for that guy. Force feeding a receiver is never a good idea because look, I got a wide open one over here. And if I were to force feed it, I would have missed that. UMass fans, is this your Heisman? Because he only has 12 points on the game, only 170 passing yards. Man is young. I'll give him that, like a redshirt sophomore. So he's got a lot of good years ahead of him. But on that fourth down, bad play call. MU's this good where we can go ahead and try to stat pad as look at the receiver just break free honestly good makeup ground there 21 caught a lot of ground when he was burnt by like five steps kudos to him on that play but in the end mu is really strong with a big win in the streak we're on more monster commits the monsters have been working for years with this game in mind the american championship game versus tulane our only loss was to tulane in the regular season before racking off some big wins to get to this point as the playoff bracket stands right now they're predicting tulane to get in that means they're sleeping on mu that's exactly why the Scary Hours uniform exists because MU is about to go dark. All the rebuilding, all the pain, grit, struggle led right to this moment, the American Conference Championship game. We were destined for this game as soon as we came into the league. Mike Wazowski knew it. We all thought it. MU's had our back every step of the way. Now it's time to give them all we got. We scare because we care and in the progress of trying to give this school a scare, they are beating us 27 to 6. Thankfully, I believe in miracles and so does Mike Wazowski as we lob one to Beaver holding on. We like it this way better because we don't want everything given to us. As we go to our star receiver, we're right back in this thing. Touchdown. Two minute drill. Let's go get some points. Get right back into it. Beaver, touchdown. Beaver has really become a security blanket for Larry. They came in on the same class. Both are seniors, so it works out. This is the drive for the game. In essence, all on the line. Siegel, beautiful play to start it off. Always got my eye on receivers like Noah Chuku, he is a stud. There he is. Having the best receiver in MU history, it has been an enjoyable experience for the whole team. Driving down here very efficiently. We don't want to score too soon or this thing could go back to two lane. Our receiver could not hear the audible I called out, so that's fine. We'll just take it into our own hands with Larry throwing it on the run, hitting Seagull. First and goal. Playing like a quarterback you would see on Sundays. This is exactly as advertised. Now we're just going to go with the inside zone up the middle cutting right touchdown mu quickly checking it down here number nine with a shifty little move let's go ahead and show two even though it's a cover three maybe that shell will fool them and it looked like it worked good pressure and great defense that line is all we need to get some movement out here big tackle it's on the line here third and one He's going for a big play, intercepted by McAfee. That is ball game for your scarers. Victorious, stunning Tulane fans. 
I can't believe that MU has now a date to the college football playoffs. No better time for Larry the senior to show up. And Larry has been showing up all season long, just about 4,000 passing yards, 36 touchdowns. Add another 500 on the ground and five to his name. Nawa Chukwu and Cobb, two amazing receivers this season, 1,300 yards, 14 touchdowns for Ezekiel. That's insane. Karsten's with seven sacks. And Theo Hyde's been on a mission ever since he stepped foot on campus. The 2029 Heisman went to Jordan. I feel like Ezekiel was just a couple touchdowns touchdowns away from being that guy. A look at the college football bracket and it's glorious. We're a three seed. The big dance continues with a good game on deck against number nine, Oregon. The Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl. The boys in blue, your monsters and all monster fans. This one is for you. This is the run. This is what dreams are made of. It's the college football playoffs. We've been working so hard to get to this point. A look at the stats this season. Oregon's a bit more efficient on third down, but we had more yards per game. Three and out for the Oregon offense now we get to do what we do best offense and firepower starting with a little dump to Siegel I have a feeling Ezekiel is going to be out here to prove a point why he should have been Heisman as our quarterback at least got rid of it I have a feeling Larry and Ezekiel are trying to show everyone why he should have been the Heisman and not the other receiver it's cool though because it's fuel for Ezekiel he has his eyes set on bigger things like the national championship right here right now making a splash play third in goal I want points how about you all beaver sideline we work this hard to stun Oregon not settle for three points we're going for it fourth and goal quick strike to be touchdown MU's been taking a little bit of a nap we need to get back to where we belong best fourth down very risky to go for it but that's exactly what we're doing over the middle we got him it's Cobb making a play we aren't winning the competition today playing it conservative so we got to throw our bombs and take our chances whenever we get the opportunity running the bench here out to elmore once again we're going for it chick-fil-a peach bowl nothing but fireworks here shedding off the quick defender going out to beaver that was crazy our qb has the will to win no doubt about it taking shot after shot and still delivering the ball that is a good qb rushing up to the line calling bunch verticals we had a man i missed him but i still got the chance to throw it to him dime i thought i was too late larry thought he was too late nope big six we're not settling for one we're going for the two-point conversion because we want to tie this thing up rather than leave it open for interpretation and well that backfired it looks like the two-point conversion is going to go the other way all the way to the house staying true to what we've been doing isn't it going for it on fourth down over the middle easy peasy Siegel lined up at receiver now coming back in it's a handoff to the running back who has some space spin little out to Cobb he's open touchdown we got the lead fourth and one down by 11 we need something big and that's exactly what the doctor ordered dropping it though in major need of a miracle right now I just need someone to come through for me and I think that guy's gonna be Beaver. Need a hero out here in a major way as we go to Stinnerer. Trying to tire out Oregon's defense along the way. I think we might be able to connect. What a catch. That's insane. Now a minute to go in this ball game. Just need a touchdown pass. We got it. Huge play. Heartbreaking defeat. I can't bear to stand that we lost by seven to the Ducks. Oh man, that's heartbreaking. The great news about a rebuild is that this team only got better going into the off season. A ton of our homegrown recruits went to the NFL, but look at all the five and four stars that wanna come to MU. They've built something extremely special over here. The subsequent season, we did even better, 11 and one. So many wins, the only loss yet again was to Tulane. Taking care of business till the very end, we're now in the American Conference Championship game. 89 overall, 91 defense, 87 offense, playing for pride against the Owls. Rice in the American Conference Championship game was nothing more than just a speed bump in our way as we're just carving them up 33-8. Massey has done a terrific job taking over the reins from quarterback Larry, dialing up dots to every side of the end zone. With that, AP number three in the nation, we're gonna have a high seed going into the national championship run once more. Sermons was player of the week in the championship game with three touchdown grabs. Before we make our natty run let's look at the stats massey filled in wonderfully 3500 36 touchdowns added four more on the ground tyree alec riley all key contributors karsten keeps getting better and better eight and a half sacks give seven to my man cornelius four ints for zay and josh zay was that five-star middle linebacker we brought in a couple years ago this is how the bracket's shaping up this year we got stanford at the one seed playing two lane who still got in and won their game against oklahoma looks like rice was georgia's first opponent and they could not hold him so it's the rose 
Rose Bowl versus the dogs. Actually, the trophy says Beach Bowl, even though the graphic said Rose Bowl. So we're back at the stadium where we dropped it against the Ducks. That's all the fuel I need for revenge. In a pregame interview, Mike Wazowski said that this is the team of destiny, even better than the unit that was here last year. And it's led by that quarterback right there, number one. Nothing like coming out here and hitting them right in the mouth on the opening drive. Let's go to our tight end who gets a nice separation. Elmore streaking down the sideline. There are so many weapons and so many stars on this team that I have my pick of the crop. We'll go to the running back judge. Second and two, we have a wide open man. Just break free. It's busted coverage mix in. Touchdown. We're up first. Midfield, fourth down. That's okay. We're going for it. Sermons is going to pick it up. I need my first team all conference kicker to step up right here, right now. <sighs> that kicking meter never gets easier. In the playoffs, the important thing is never letting off the pedal because anything can go. So we deliver a ball under pressure to mix in and pick up the first. That was some serious panic drill there from Massey. He was still able to pick it up and do a great job with it. Now here's a look at 92 speed and a juke move at the one. Them Florida boys got speed, don't they? Up the middle judge didn't get in. All right, truly surprised by that, but we can quickly go out to our tight end and cash in. Georgia should have a home field advantage at the Peach Bowl. This is their backyard in Georgia, but it's not going to stay because we connect on the massive Hail Mary. Massey here in the first half, 300 yards, four touchdown passes, scrambling out to our right, going to wait for things to develop. Messed it up there big time. Getting way too cute in a playoff game. We have to dial in because we're shanking field goals. Up by a touchdown in the final minute here. They're going to the receiver. Can he be brought down? It's a turnover. Monsters University. Already in field goal range. Three points would give us a two possession lead, but we'll go ahead and get as many points as they let us get. Georgia gonna burn all their timeouts in the process of trying to get the ball back, but our offensive line is too big, too strong. That's what years of Mike Wazowski building the offensive line looks like. It is dominant. It is obvious. It's overpowering. And on that note, we are one round closer to the ultimate goal, the trophy. Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl, check that one off the list. Massey with an all-time performance. That means Texas in the semifinals on the other side of the bracket, it's Tulane, Florida State. Imagine American Conference matchup in the championship game. As this Orange Bowl has been going on, momentum has been shifting back to our side. It's all tied up 34 apiece. Final three minutes of the game, it seriously is crunch time right now. Texas defensive line is dialing up the sweat, I'm not gonna lie. First down though, that's huge. Need something big right here. We'll just take it underneath the Elmore who tried to break one. I don't see any stars in the secondary, so I might go ahead and test him on this next one here, just like this. Running past him on the streak, Sermons is gone. Massive touchdown, MU. They're lining up in the Wildcat, so I just called a run play, and it didn't turn to be a run. Instead, intercepted linebacker alert. Our five-star linebacker coming up in the biggest spot of his life. That's exactly why he's here. Winner of this game moves on to the national championship, and we want to get to that five final step so close i can almost taste it one more handoff and we got it with that folks victory formation against the longhorns it's all over we are moving to the national championship game winning the semi playoffs leads to the finals sermons was player of the week in the semis there unfortunately for tulane they got blown out by the seminoles and i'm bummed to see that too i would have liked an american conference game for the national championship for the final game of this rebuild for national championship glory of course we're equipping scary hours this is it the apex of college football florida state has made it Monsters University has made it. I think Monstropolis wants to hoist up the national championship. We're playing at Raymond James Stadium. I didn't realize this was a site for the national championship game. Maybe I'm out of the loop. For all I know, this could be very realistic because I do realize they, they choose the national championship spot like years and decade in advance. But it all comes down to the showdown. Seminoles, Monsters, let's ride. Out comes Massey and the Monsters wanting first blood. Gonna drop it underneath the Sermons. He had a four touchdown week last week, trying to make it one here. Look at all the stars on defense for Florida State. It's not a surprise they did get this far with that that many units back there wide open on the orbit we'll just take our check down Turner wasn't fooling anyone their stars on defense our stars on offense makes for a great game getting behind the blocks hitting the spin first and goal gonna go with an RPO bubble here and kind of read it out the bubble looks open we'll try to get in backwards through the air it is and actually Massey says I'll take it myself lob went up while getting hit fourth and goal I wonder if being conservative here was the better play but I want points and I want seven and we're not getting seven time will tell if the three points come back to haunt us and in the meantime oh my gosh 
Massey got hurt on that last play. That forces backup McDaniel's true freshman to come into this thing. Talk about nerves. Talk about a situation. Well, Mike Wazowski believes in him, so we're going to take a shot on the first play. Get Sermons breaking free and out of there. Touchdown, MU. The freshie on his first ever snap of in-game action. The freshie comes in for one play and spells Massey, giving him a chance to breathe. And he's back now, ready to go to work. Monsters stick together. They work together. They go at everything together just like this national championship team first team last it takes everyone even when we make mistakes like that we got to pick our teammates back up tough times don't last tough people do and look at tough quarterback play first and goal that's how you shake it off massey and come out here like a champion you are wide open touchdown to beat florida state has the leg up at the moment it's a one possession game we can just lob it up to the big man he dropped it we had so many steps seriously don't get opportunities like that all too often so it's unfortunate we couldn't come down and make the play hurrying back to the line looking for anything we got a man so deep so wide blown coverage come and get some touchdown MU. We're going to need to do this thing all over again. Florida State is scoring on us at will, but we'll strike right back. Great defense. Massey needs you to be heroic in this one, and we got bodied by the DB. That's got to be PI. Instead, it's not PI. It's a huge fourth down game on the line. No pressure here whatsoever. Dumps it off under immense pressure there. Mix in. Ice in Massey's veins. He wants to keep the dream alive. And so does Sermons. Good catch. No need to rush. Let's just take it one snap at a time. And Massey has the speed to do it all by himself. Touchdown. And our defense made the miraculous save. Interception simulated there. Florida State defeated. Can't believe the game we just had. Massey was lights out with his legs and the arm. Stepped in and defeated Florida State in his first ever appearance. The natty, the trophy, the glory, the honor. It's amazing. MU rules. Our rival Fear Tech could never dream of doing something this amazing. They're still back in the FCS level. And if this video gets at least 500 likes, I will go ahead and rebuild Fear Tech, MU's rival in a future video. As always, keep soaking it up with your boy King Sponge. Hit that subscribe button and I'll see y'all in the next college football video.